I want to be more oh, and more like Jesus. I want to be more oh, and, and more like you. you. Oh, Lord, I want to live more. Oh, and verse 6, all right? 1 John 2, 6. The one who says he abides in him ought himself to walk in the same manner as he walked. Right? Mm -hmm. yes. Ephesians 5 says this, right? Imitate. Ephesians 5 says, Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love just as Christ also loved you, and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God, a fragrant aroma. Amen. We're called to imitate Jesus Christ. And without getting too deeply into this because of the time factor, Jesus Christ in the Sermon on the Mount said, Therefore, you are to be perfect, as your Heavenly Father is perfect. Yes. Now, there are people that say, well, you know, you, can't, you shouldn't strive for perfection. That makes you a perfectionist, and that's a bad thing. No. The simple fact of the matter is, Jesus Christ said, be perfect, even as your Father in Heaven is oh, perfect. Yeah. We may not achieve it. Paul said he hadn't achieved it yet, but, brother, you need to be striving for it. Right. You need to aim for it. You need to aim for it. It needs to be the desire of your heart. Right. It needs to be your desire, is to be like Jesus Christ, oh. to be imitating Jesus Christ. Because you are the only way that most people in your life are ever going to see Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. And they are going to think that Jesus Christ looks like you. You're supposed to look like Jesus Christ. So many people judge Christianity by the Christians they know. And I understand that. Now, I'm not saying you have to be perfect, but I'm saying you need to strive for perfection. It needs to be the desire and goal of your heart. And if it is, I'm telling you that God who searches the heart will honor that desire and make changes in your life. Oh,